So when we did the extra oral images video, I showed you how to take extra oral shots like the extra oral full smile, extra oral full repose, the extra oral profile right, and the extra oral full retracted images. In that video, you likely noticed I had the subject standing against a neutral background. And that is one way to do it, and it will work. That being said, in this video, I want to show you how to take those four images to the next level. Behind me, I have set up the newer light boxes. These are the newer N300 watt professional photo system. This consists of three light boxes that each plug into an outlet and attached to each of these light boxes is the newer RTR 16 wireless studio flash trigger that runs off of two AAA batteries. On my camera is a wireless trigger that is set to the same channels as the flash triggers attached to the light. To use these light boxes for these four shots, I position one light box behind my subject with the subject sitting down. I then position the other two light boxes to the right and left of the subject at around 45 degrees from the subject. Once I have adjusted the height of the boxes to the height of my patient, I then turn on the light box and wireless flash trigger. The light box behind the patient is set to a power of 15 and the boxes in front of the patient are set to a power of 25. On my camera, I adjust my f-stop to 11 or 13 and set my shutter speed to 1 over 125. My ISO is set to the lowest possible setting of 100. I then position myself in front of the patient sitting at the same level as the patient's head. You can take these photos in any order that you like. Uh, because I use a digital software to sometimes treatment plan, I typically try to make sure that the patient's head does not move much at all when transitioning from the smile to retracted photograph. Once I am done with these four images, I then move the patient back to the dental chair to finish the extra oral series of images. So in all honesty, I bought these light boxes after I shot the extra oral images video that you have already watched. Um, I saw these at a course one time and I loved them and I kind of postponed getting them. And truth be told, they do take up a lot of real estate in the clinic. You do need probably a good area to set these up. Unfortunately, where I work right now, I have to set them up in the operatory. I don't actually set them up in the hallway like you see here, but I do set them up in an empty operatory that we don't really use a lot. Ideally, that operatory would not even have a chair in it. I could just turn it into a photo studio. That would be best case scenario. But typically what I do is I just try to arrange the light boxes in that operatory in a way where it is cramped, but I can still get in there and get the shots I need. Uh, this also requires me to set the light boxes up and tear them down after each patient I take photos. That is not ideal, not ideal at all. Like I said, the best thing to do would be to set them up and just keep them set up so you don't have to worry about this every single time you wanna use them. Um, I love these images, like the focus, the sharpness, the lighting, everything about these images is just perfect to me. And here's the thing too, you can also use these light boxes for other uh, applications in dentistry as well. I use them to take product shots of some of the things I incorporate into my lectures. Um, you can use these light boxes to do those like really fancy, uh, creative dental photographs that you see all the time on Instagram. Really, it just requires you to play with the lighting a little bit um, and obviously get a little bit closer to the patient's mouth when you take those images. Um, maybe we can make a video on that sometime in the future. If you're interested, let me know and I'll make it. Uh, but I love these light boxes. They're awesome and they're gonna make a huge difference in your practice if you're taking photographs on the regular. Check them out, they're very in, uh, inexpensive, they're very affordable. I love the price point uh, for what you get out of it. It's, it's a great investment in my opinion. So check these out, use them, let me know what you think. See you next time.